Okay, so I have like a painting and a, and a, and a keyboard here. Correct me if I'm wrong, are you self-isolating in your studio or is your studio where you're self-isolating? It's a good question. It's a tricky one to get my head around. I love this. It's the only studio that I use and I'm really friendly with the people that kind of like own it. So I spend most of my time here. I spent like past two years pretty much here so as soon as this happened i just came here so i can is there like a proper bed there and everything or are you just literally oh, just in no, between no, the instruments no, no. <laughs> I, I, i'm not like in between a bass cab and a piano like this is um it's it's a lovely kind of country little estate that happens to have a studio in it so i'm very 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 lucky is it one of those reasons like why do you feel like you go back there because obviously the, the band made the last two albums there isn't that correct mm. i mean what's yeah. it like is it like there's just a lot of nostalgia there and you think or is it like a superstition almost I think, I think it's a bit of both, a bit of codependency. Um, but I think that there's, um, to be honest with you, mate, when this happened, it was so hard. It is so hard for so many people. And I'm, you know, making music, I can do that in my head if I really want to. So I feel like really privileged to be able to come here and do something like this. And I just got really obsessed with like being positive. Yeah. And being positive for me is doing positive stuff like not st saying stupid stuff on twitter all the time kind of putting a positive body of work into the world so i'm just trying to work on that really i feel right. like you've been very productive during lockdown most yeah. people have just been building lego and yeah you know I mean? <laughs> basically <laughs> describing what romans do yeah. <laughs> <laughs> playing a copious amount of call of duty and building some lego yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's, it's horses for courses i think i've watched i think i've finished youtube now though so <laughs> We've got lots, of, you know, there's lots of dusting going on. Oh, there really is. Um, can we have a little look around this studio, or is it because it's very interesting? You've got this crazy wall behind you. Okay, so what? I, where am I? I'm kind of in like the living room that we turn into like the creative hub, and then there's the studio, which is over there that has all the very serious stuff. So here, I'm just. Hold on, let me see. If I can oh, show give you. us a little cribs tour. Okay, so I have like. A painting and a, and, a, and a keyboard here and the rest of the room... Oh, I'm covering the camera, sorry. sorry. The rest of the room is like a big open plan space with George moving around. <laughs> uh, we make music over here. Yeah. Oh. We eat dinner over here. Nice. We are, And then we sit here and we write a lot of music. And then I sit at this piano. And then I talk to various journalists on FaceTime while I look like... <laughs> A nightmare. <laughs> I think it's really nice there. You know, I mean, you know, mm. being able to work and, and getting your head down during a time like this is perfect. But listen, I, I want to talk about the new song, If You're Too Shy. We literally just played it a moment ago. The amount of text that we get saying how much people love it. It's so yeah. nice because it's a really feel-good tune. Now, it, yeah. it is, it, it's, been, it's been a second since you released new music as well. Mm. And obviously, the first time releasing, you know, that a lot of people are going through, releasing music during a lockdown during quarantine. Yeah. I mean, what's your experience been like? I mean, it's perfect for me, to be honest with you, because I, as, as soon as it's after the fact, I just want to ignore it because, you know, I'll just drum myself mental. How many streams is it or views? You know what I mean? I, yeah. I get, I'll probably get a bit like that. So I just always move on. To the, that's why I'm always doing interviews and talking about my next album before another one's even come out because I'm not that I'm bored of it, but yeah. I, really, I, I kind of am. Two Shy is great. Too Shy is like about trusting our instincts. I think that sometimes when we're in a room together, like that kind of, I don't know how you describe it, a typical 1975 kind of sound comes out. And sure. We've been in lots of different places, this, you know, emotionally and mentally. And I think sometimes, you know, I get a bit like, it has to change the world kind of thing. Whereas yeah. sometimes I think that pop music can do that in a, in a slightly different way, you know, with escapism or, or kind of f fun yeah I, well, I definitely I, th I definitely think you're all doing it because you, you know like you know there's your tra there's a couple of tracks that we're playing at the moment and they all kind of like just have this really like nice vibe and i think they are helping people there's there's your track there's a track from uh, a group called surfaces there's there's uh the weekend's latest stuff and i think all of those yeah, yeah, yeah. tunes they're really making people uh, smile at the moment so i mean thank you for that but sunny uh, there's more music coming isn't there yeah so you've got um an album coming out very soon now you said that the lyric writing process of it felt a bit like writing stand-up comedy is that right? I, I wouldn't like to say that it felt like that. That's just what I search for, because I think that comedy and music are the most similar art forms in the way that you're essentially trying to deliver a big idea in as few words as possible. Yeah, you know, the, best com the best comedy is when someone says a massive truth 
in three words, you know, like, mm. and you, you go, wow, so much was revealed to me in that. So I think that, you know, when I, when it comes to writing lyrics, like I do like, I can be a bit wordy and I like all that kind of thing, but I grew up reading like Vonnegut and Camus and stuff like that. And it was very much the cold, the ground was cold if it was a cold ground, you know? So I think that it's quite, um, it's a lot of like, I'm not scared to be literal in my lyrics. And yeah. A lot of that. Yeah. It's a lot to do with, I guess, relatability as well. When you're yeah. watching, when you're yeah. watching stand-up comedy, it's like you want the stuff that you relate to. Uh, well, it's about the, it's slightly about the underdog as well. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Like, like I always make a joke. Like, no comedian comes out and be like, "God, getting off with four birds is hard, isn't it?" <laughs> you know what I mean, like, it's, 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 it's it's always it's it's a it's about the perspective of the underdog and being English and being kind of an outsider when I kind of grew up do you know what I mean like yeah that, that it's really important for me to feel pe people to feel kind of included and supported as supportive as opposed to you know glamour yeah, you know, I'm yeah, not yeah. Like glamorous you know well mate listen I mean as long as you keep putting out the tunes that you're putting out I mean it doesn't yeah. even matter I don't think these days